this is Steven Chen. I'm doing night hacking interviews at the Cloud World Developer Mumbai event. Um, I'm joined by Siva Krishna. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Steve? Um, and you're chatting a little bit about DevOps at the Cloud World Mumbai event. Is that is that yeah. correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what does DevOps have to do with the Oracle Cloud? So is essentially uh, the the philosophy, uh, the tool centric philosophy. Uh, around continuous delivery, <coughs> the majority of the developers who wanted to get into this DevOps uh, setup, uh, they look for major, many of the frameworks to be set up and integrated together to achieve the end result. So Oracle Cloud has a developer cloud service uh, as a service, a platform as a service piece, uh, which is providing out of the box a multi-tenant capability uh, by providing many of these features and uh, they can provision maximum in one minute time and make use of uh, the entire environment for the projects. Okay. So we have so, a so it provides to tools it. that enable Absolutely. DevOps use cases. Yeah. Um, do you want me to show your Yeah. So the slide which you're pointing to <coughs> right now? Let me see. Okay. I can so show now you. folks can see your desktop. Yeah. If you if you look at how uh, Gartner has predicted many of the categories. One of that is uh, technology. Okay. Mm -hmm. DevOps is something tool-centric uh, uh, philosophy on top of continuous delivery. We look at the each and every piece uh, that they have uh, mocked up, and Oracle has a counterpart in terms of the frameworks as part of the Oracle Developer Cloud Service to cater the requirement, uh, starting with the build components and continuous integration piece source code repository, version control system, and uh, VK markup language for the documentation, and uh, the adapters to the target platforms like other cloud services like Java Cloud Service, Database Cloud Service, on-premises, um, Java Cloud Service, mini source. So everything is coming as a tool set, um, and it has been uh, very much well integrated, tightly bound, and uh, on top of the Agile methodology, we can track the entire status of the project. Okay. Yeah. So it gives you kind of <coughs> tools you can. Right. You can see your overall project health. Correct. So, uh, if you like to get into uh, a end-to-end -end approach, how do you effectively uh, make use of this tool? Uh, look at the continuous development that developers are working out and we're using the Agile development methodology. Mm -hmm. They just pick up the couple of features uh, as part of the particular sprint and develop the features and uh, uh, locally just build them and give it to the QAPs where uh, uh, the unit testing will happen on top of the build. And finally put the uh, build into the artifact repository and where the continuous integration will conclude it and get into the developer delivery piece, continuous delivery, where the Hudson executor will pick up the build and put it to the target environment. Okay. And this is a cycle that continues uh, for multiple environments, starting with the QEA, UAT, pre-production, or production. We can configure the complete pipe of the delivery pipe and uh, do that. And while doing this, we can incorporate the testing, depends on the environment, the, whether the integration testing or the functional testing, the acceptance testing. We can conclude it. Once everything goes well, we can push it. So thus we, we are addressing the continuous development, integration and delivery, and the testing pieces. Finally, we have other set of tools like uh, Oracle uh, uh, management uh, tools, um, like an IT analytics or uh, application performance management, log analytics kind of uh, services. Uh, using that, we can do the continuous monitoring and incorporate the, uh, the feedback loops back into the system to start and optimize the DevOps approach for the organization. OK. Yeah, OK. That sounds good. Right. <coughs> OK. And uh, <coughs> at the end, if organization wanted to gauge what is the optimization they have achieved, and what is the advantage with the DevOps. Um, they can track it both from engineering perspective and from operational perspective, uh, based on the existing SLAs, the number of concurrent releases they have released, and commit to the production ratio. Uh, and from operation standpoint, how hygiene the environment is being maintained across multiple builds. 
it can be represented and uh, we can capture just in a small representation like this and uh, each month wise each sprint wise they can calculate and and see the difference between before the devops and after the devops and see the efficiency it is gaining it uh, initially probably for the couple of sprints uh, till they optimize the entire flow uh, of the devops uh, you can see the efficiency could be very less and once the maturity is been attained and the devops efficiency will go crazily humongous difference you can see it okay so you can increase efficiency and Absolutely. track this and get cost Absolutely. savings right okay excellent so that i think that answers my question how it integrates with the oracle cloud so it gives you a complete solution stack right um solves the devops use case and then gives you decreased cost of ownership for your development right awesome all right thanks very much thank you thank you steve for the interview siva i hope your has your session happened yet or is still yes, upcoming completed. okay just completed very good luck with your session here sure a cloud world developer mumbai you can watch all of the interview sessions at nighthacking.com um, and we have a few more interviews coming up soon so join us on the live stream thank you thank you